Alright, hey there guys, Adrian Takasi here, aka Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another NBA discussion video. I've been doing a lot of these recently, but that's only because 2K is so dry right now that, realistically and truthfully speaking, I don't know what to put on for um, videos. So I decided to do an NBA dis another NBA discussion video because a couple of days ago, at the time of this recording, uh, I got into a debate with some of my um, Discord people that I you normally, that I could pop in every now and then to talk to. Uh, I'll put the link to the Discord in the co description of this video if y'all want to join that discord it's basically just what we talk about basketball and you know just shit like that so but there were some things in there that i was re that really caught my eye when it comes to his came to a certain debate that we were having and the, the debate we were having is in your opinion what is the definition of a super team now a super team it, it's a tricky one because a lot of people have different definitions of super team and a lot of people have different uh, ideas of what a super team could be and i'm I'll give my a depiction of what a super team is, but I really want to I really want to put out what you guys I want to want to see what you guys think of what a super team is. So for me, a super team are teams with guys that have say about two or three players on the team that could be the stars of the su the superstars of their own team. So guys like say you know te so teams like say for example the um. You know, the 2011 Miami Heat, the 2010s Miami Heat, I would say that's a definite super team. Because Braun and Wade were the superstars of their own team. And Bosh, even though he wasn't leading them to the playoffs and shit like that, he definitely was a all-star caliber player. And he was definitely a superstar caliber player, but the, unfortunately the Raptors at the time could not surround him with any shooters or, or any great players to play alongside him. Another player team that I would consider a super team is the mid 80 the mid 80s uh, Lakers with Kareem and Magic because obviously Kareem was leading the Lakers to super to was not leading the Lakers he led the Bucks at that time to fi two finals appearances and they won one finals appearance and also Magic Johnson is Magic Johnson he's one of the greatest players ever and he definitely could have led the Lakers to a finals appearance to multiple championships and finals appearances cuz we literally saw that in 1991 when a older but not totally out of his prime Magic was led the Lakers to a finals appearance in 1991 so it's not far fetched to think that Magic couldn't do more of that in in without Kareem Abdul-Jabbar because that's just how great of a player he was so that is my opinion of the super team but I hear a lot of different definitions of super team and I, I just want to hear your guys' thoughts because one definition I heard was a, a couple of stars with a great bench I've heard that be a super team no but the question I ask is then okay were the 2016 Cavaliers a super team I have always I have always leaned towards no in that one because to me Sure, yeah, LeBron James is LeBron James, okay? He's the greatest player of this generation. He's the second greatest player in NBA history. And he's honestly, like, I don't think really many people debate, like, he could lead a team to a finals appearance and to a championship because we've literally seen it throughout NBA history. But I think the other thing I want to ask is Kyrie, like, was he able to really and truthfully lead the Celtics to like a deep postseason run because like I know 2018 happened and shit like that and that was without Kyrie being there for the for the majority of the time but other times it was like look at the next season like the next season they were literally a second round out even though that team didn't really work well Kyrie was supposed to be the leader of that team and he just did not do it he just did not lead that team properly but all in all fair enough like it is what it is like but I really thought like the 2016 Cavs were never really that big of a super team or even a super team in general because Kyrie at the time, you know, was he really able to lead the Cavaliers to a championship at that time because, or even a playoff p appearance because in the years before that, Kyrie was still floundering around in the bottom half of the lottery. Now, with the Cavaliers, now it is meant to be said that he was a young player and that is just something that, you know, you can overlook. But we cannot do that with Kevin Love because Kevin Love was a perennial double-double machine that was putting up historic-ass numbers and was also leading the Timberwolves uh, to non-playoff finishes. And he was not a young player. He was at his peak at that time. So it's so I, I that's why I say I don't think the Cavaliers were a super team in that regards because Kyrie at that time wasn't able to lead them to a playoff appearance. 
Uh, Kevin Love couldn't even get the Timberwolves to a fucking ninth seed consistently. So, it's to me, it's just, I, I don't know, like, if the Cavaliers were a super team. And I could say the same thing about the Golden State Warriors in 2016. Are, are they a super team? I, I don't think they were. Like, because Steph Curry can be the man of his own team, okay? Steph Curry can be the champion, the focal point of a team. He can be a superstar caliber. He could lead the, he can lead any team to a title because that's just how great he is. But Clay Thompson and Draymond Green, I, I don't know if they can. I've never really been high on people saying, oh, Draymond or Clay Thompson could lead a team to, like, a deep playoff run. Like, I, I, re I don't believe that. I don't think, especially somebody like uh, Draymond Green, I don't really think Draymond Green can lead a team to a deep playoff run. I really think that Draymond is one of those players that needs talented pieces around him to be, effect uh, to be effective. You know, s similar to guys like, say, James Worthy. I think he... I don't think he could lead a team. I don't think he could lead a team to a playoff run, but I definitely think he's one of those players that needs to have a team around him to truly be effective. And this is what makes some a conversation like this so interesting to me because it really just shows to me like different variations and definitions of super team. And like I said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts because I truly believe that Though those teams that I mentioned and those players, I really don't think they could be the band of their own team. And I've always been of the belief that a super team to me is a team of two or three star players or two or three all-star to superstar level caliber players that could be the guys of their own team. And I don't know, Ky was Kyrie a super, even a superstar before he left Cleveland? Like, he was a great all-star caliber player, don't get me wrong. But I don't think he was a super... I don't really buy into this idea that he was a superstar caliber player. Same with somebody like, say, a Draymond Green or a Klay Thompson. <laughs> now, the 2017, 2018, and 2019 Warriors are definitely a super team. I will not disagree with that because they, well, they had two superstar caliber players and were f had three or four all-stars on their team, depending on who you talk to. But... That's going to be it, guys, for this video. I just wanted to actually at, just ask that question because this was a debate I had with some people a while back. And it was just something that, you know, I see a lot of confusing definitions for when it comes to talking about these types of players and these types of, uh, and these types of, um, discussions i mean so with that being said uh i hope you guys did enjoy this discussion video and i'm out peace